Hello and welcome to another edition of the OC Varsity Gridiron Show, Week 10. Can you believe we're already at Week 10 slash 11 if you count Week 0, guys? It goes by fast. It's gone by really fast. Yeah, I love really football fast. season. Time flies when you're having fun with these two guys. Oh, yeah, it's so sincere. Okay, our game of the week, guys, is to Soro. They're 6-3, and 2-1 and one on the year, taking on Mission Viejo 4-5, and 2-1. and one. Mission Viejo, uh, they came off a C. A surprising loss to San Clemente last week. That was the Diablos' first loss to the Titans since 1999. I believe Prince had a song about that, right, Steve? Yes, he did. And and, and they were partying like it was 1999 in San Clemente with that backup quarterback, Drayton Joseph. He's already got offers from Alabama and Texas, guys. Stop. Will yes, you does. stop? Will he you does. stop? No, For he's... golf. Oh, okay. Literally. He's a great <laughs> he's golfer. Golf. He's just a junior, but he's, he's, a, you, he's a great golfer. That's he's got awesome. offers from all over the place from golf. Okay, Dan, but uh, about this game. Hey, Tesoro, they beat Capistrano Valley, who was you know really looking like one of the teams to beat heading into the league. Uh, they beat them 28-13 on the road. Their defense stepping up for Matt Poston's boys. Forcing three turnovers, so here we are at a at a, at a crossing point, if you will, Dan, as Tesoro takes on Mission. Yeah, I was uh, I was really surprised uh, that Tesoro was so uh, convincingly winning that w uh, game. You know, Tesoro's defense is, is excellent. So this is interesting. I you know Tesoro ha uh, has been a little bit up and down offensively, um, and then you you're, you then you got a uh, a Mission Vio team that is you know reeling um, and needs to get some momentum back. Um, for the playoffs, Mission Viejo Fellows is Division One, Tesoro's Division Two. So I think they're both, you know, safely in. Something to look forward to is uh, is Jamari Farrell going to play in this game? He did not play last week against San Clemente. Let's go to the Garden Grove League. Actually, not the Garden Grove League. Actually, yes, the Garden Grove League. It's right? harder. Is it with Loera and there it throws you? I know. You I'm know? telling because Garden Grove is out now West and West for like, so many okay. years. Okay, let's just Empire before that. <laughs> seven and two Loera. They're four zero. They will be. Visiting Rancho Alamitos. This game will be at Glover Friday night. Six and three Rancho Alamitos. Their last meeting, Rancho beat Loera back in 2016. So they have they did not meet last year. Dan, when you look at this matchup, Loera's won five in a row. Rancho's won five in a row. You can't ask for a better night, a better matchup going into the last day of league on the last game of the season. Yeah, I really like this uh, matchup. I wrote about it, um, you know, uh, online on OC Varsity in the in the uh, sports section. Because I, I really look at both these teams as underdogs, where you have uh, Loera that's really turned it around under a fourth-year coach, Mitch Olson. Um, you know, just a couple years ago, Loera was 0-10, and, yeah. and they what a turnaround they have produced. And then you got Rancho Alamitos, who's usually been in the shadows of those said Argonauts of Garden Grove, and they, they, and they haven't won a league title in, in several years as well. So both these teams haven't won. So there's a lot of high-powered spread offenses in this game. Should be a really good game over there at uh, Glover. There's a lot of good games to talk about this week. So, Steve, we're just going to go ahead and skip to the next one. 8-1, and one, Ocean View. They will be taking on Western. This is for the Pac-4 League. The last meeting these guys had was in 2011. Western beat Ocean View 42-7. Steve, how's this one going down? Well... I think uh, in, in high school football, if you got a, especially in the lower division, so to say, if you got a team that can throw the ball, which Western can do with, with Anthony Munoz, Kane Savage, et cetera, et cetera, I think that they look really good to win this game. You know, I, I was hoping Ocean was going to go into this game undefeated, but yeah, Laguna Beach went and messed that up by playing their best game of the year last week. Good job, Breakers, on that. But uh, I, I like Western in this game because I think, again, you know, if you can throw the ball and the way those guys can throw the ball around, you know, they're in the top of the charts receiving and, and passing. Uh, I, I, like, uh, I like Western in that game. Quickly, your thoughts, Dan? Well, I, you know, I think Ocean View does throw pretty well because they have a really good quarterback as well. Can't forget about Noah Hickman, uh, who is also can run it well. He's a, a dual-threat quarterback. Um, they have uh, this uh, – they've had a player emerge, uh, Earthman, uh, at Ocean View as a speedy running back. The thing is with this game is it's really crazy in this, in this league is that, um, you know – if if Western wins out, you know that you know that would be you know they'd have the league champ and they'd be fine for the playoffs. But if if Ocean View pulls the upset and there's somehow a, a three way tie for first and you have some coin flips, that could really bring some uh, some you know crazy playoff scenarios for all these teams are really highly ranked in you know in Division Eleven, Division Twelve. So a lot to watch out is if if Ocean View pulls the upset, then you know things could get pretty crazy because I think Laguna Beach is going to beat Godinas in the other game. 
right. Yeah, it could be a lot of madness going on. Steve, before we sign out, there's two games that you wanted to briefly talk about because this week is as important as any week in the season. Seagerstrom Garden Grove on Thursday is really good. Uh, Joe Tagaloa's team over at Seagerstrom has got a, a really good group of guys. Um, but uh, I really like Garden Grove. Mike Carrillo, great two-way player. You know, he was a, a potential offensive and defensive player of the week last week. Had his usual, you know, 200-whatever yards and four rushing touchdowns. Also, we turned, had two INTs, returned one for a touchdown. So Garden Grove is really looking solid in that game. And then the other one you're going to talk about is Santa Ana Orange at the Bowl on Friday, where I'm thinking I might be. You know, Santa Ana, with, since Patrick McMorris got eligible, they already had Drew Ramirez. They were very offensively, you know, just going for it. But look at Orange's score, 69 nothing, 62 nothing, et cetera, et cetera, with uh, Petros at quarterback, I and mean, they look really good. But, you know, uh, that game to me is kind of a coin flip. You know, I'm going to go with the Panthers in that. I think I just think their offensive firepower is just ridiculous. And then Grove Seagerstrom going with that. Now, just backing up a little bit, Western Ocean View. You said Ocean View would be an upset if they win, so you're going with Western. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably pick Western to win. I think I'll pick Santa Ana to win uh, against Orange. Okay. Nice right. to have hey, different opinions on, on the okay, Gridiron Show. Rancho, I'm going with Loera. Man, I got to think of that one um, a little bit more. I'll probably yeah. go Loera. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, when you look at comparative scores, uh, for example, I think Loera beat, beat Santiago uh, by 14 points, or Rancho beat Santiago by two points. I think I was at that game. Uh, and then the Tesoro Mission, I think Mission gets it together. They got to get that ball to Akili Arnold. Maybe you're thinking that's what they could have done on that two point conversion try. Somehow get the ball number six. So uh, I think Mission comes back and wins that game, Dan. Yeah, you know, one comparison was interesting, you know, with, uh, you know, the score comparisons is uh, Rancho Alamitos beat uh, Anaheim. Anaheim beat Loera. Right. So, um, you know, the, the score comparison has been interesting because, you know, one of the big score comparisons I was looking at last week, fellas, was modern day um, did the Jay Sarah game. How everyone said how Jay Sarah was so much closer against Bosco than modern day was against Bosco. And look what the Monarchs did to Jay Sarah. 42 so, to 7. 42 so to 7. The, the score comparisons, yeah. you know, I like them. I'm right there with you. I use them all the time, but sometimes they let us down. It's and okay. School, I, I forgive them. Football guys, man, I tell you, you yeah. just don't know what you're going to hit, which and, makes it so fun. And speaking of football, you need, really need to start wearing a helmet when you're playing because I see that little war scratch on you. So hey, you need hey, to be careful. Deadline's tough, man. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Okay. All right. Thanks to Dan Albano. Thanks to Steve Fryer. And we'll see you at the games.